You need a USB with your version of Windows installed on it. So that way, if your system ever goes corrupt, you can boot Windows from that actual USB and get access to your main hard drive to recover your files. In your browser, go to rufus.ie and scroll down to the download section. Find the portable version and click on it. And just wait for it to download. Once it's done, hit the up arrow and hit open. And there it is. I'm just going to minimize it. Going back into the browser again, search for Microsoft Media Creation Tool and hit the first link. Then you want to find your Windows version. Mine is Windows 11. And scroll down to this one here. So this ISO here that you'll be creating allows you to run your version of Windows from a flash drive. So whenever your system goes corrupt, your operating system no longer functions and you can't get access to any of your files on the drive. You can plug your USB in and run Windows from that USB and that will give you access to your main drive because your operating system isn't running from it. You can uh, grab all the files or whatever you need off of that hard drive and still save all your files that way. Or also do um, troubleshooting while you're there and possibly fix it. Go to the drop down here. There's only one option here. Uh, select the ISO and then hit download now. And select your language. Mine's going to be English. And hit confirm. And then select 64 bit download up here. And there it is. Now open when done. And just wait for it to download. It's now downloaded. So I'm going to open a file explorer and go to downloads. And you can see the ISO right there, along with Rufus. So now I'm going to open Rufus. And the first thing you want to do is select the correct drive. I'm going to open a file explorer again and go to this PC. And the USB flash drive that I've inserted has the letter E. I'm going to make sure it lines up with this letter here, E because uh, doing this will delete whatever is on your flash drive. It will completely format everything and replace it with this ISO. So you want to make sure you select the right one. Make sure ISO is selected here and click on select here and select your ISO file. Now it's going to show up here and the next thing you want to do is go to this drop down here and select Windows to go. Now, if you're using a bigger SSD or an external hard drive that has a bigger storage capacity, it might not show up right away. In that case, you want to hit this drop down here and select List USB Hard Drives. Then they'll actually show up here. Now that you have all that done, hit Start and select your Windows version. If you're going to be using this, as kind of a recovery option. Might as well just hit uh, Windows 11 Pro. It doesn't really matter all that much which Windows version you choose. And hit OK. And here, you want to actually uncheck uh, Remove Requirement for an Online Microsoft Account. And remove Windows to go from accessing internal disks is actually something you want to uncheck as well because this is going to prevent access to your internal disk. And here you can just uh, also select disable data collection, skips privacy questions. I guess that just makes it a uh, quicker setup. And then create a local account with username. You can set your username here. I'm just going to finish that as my name. And that's pretty much it. Now hit OK. And now it's warning one last time that all the data on this USB is going to be destroyed and replaced, and that's okay. And now it's starting. Now, the amount of time this will take varies greatly, depends on the speed of your flash drive. And now you have a USB that you can run Windows from. Now, I'm going to show you how to put Windows 11 onto a USB, so if your system ever goes corrupt, you can reinstall Windows simply using the USB. Go to a browser on your computer and search for Microsoft Media Creation Tool. 
and then make sure you're actually going to a Microsoft website and then you want to select your Windows version I'm doing Windows 11 and in this video we're going to focus on this one here so this will install Windows on a external USB or DVD if your system ever goes corrupt and resetting your PC doesn't help because if the uh, operating system is broken resetting the PC just deletes everything and reinstalls your local um, operating system which is still corrupt that's not always going to fix the problem you'll sometimes need a new installation of Windows so this is where that helps having a USB with Windows 11 already on it you just plug that in and then you can install Windows from that USB so you want to go ahead and hit download now and then it's going to be right here in the bottom corner and hit open and now it's getting things ready we'll just give this a minute now hit accept I'm gonna to go to file Explorer and then to this PC and I have my USB plugged in right here I'm just gonna take note of the letter so it's uh, the drive E because I'm gonna need that right away I'm gonna select the USB so I selected the language um, it's gonna be Windows 11 and I hit next and now you want to um, keep this here selected USB flash drive which is the default selection keep it on that and hit next and now select the drive that you want to install it from so this is where again it's important to remember what letter it was so you select the right one this is going to delete any existing data on the drive so make sure there's nothing on it or if you have something on it that you back it up to a different location because it's all going to be deleted and then hit next again now this is going to take a while I'll be back when it's done okay, it is now done so I'm gonna hit finish so now if I open a file explorer and go into this PC and then into the flash drive you can see the files here so if your operating system ever gets corrupt and you can't fix it you can reinstall Windows 11 from this USB